Never have I seen such an impressive young man. To solve the village's electricity issues, he single-handedly built a small hydroelectric power station in the canal. When he opened the gate to release the water, everyone passing by, young and old, gathered to watch and praised his incredible skills. Upon learning about this, the village chief rewarded him with 50,000 on the spot, and from then on, the village no longer had to pay for electricity. Now let's take a look at how the young man built this small hydroelectric power station step by step. You can observe that the young man initially constructed a barrier wall in the central area by utilizing bricks, leaving two openings at a height of approximately one meter on the wall and then proceeded to lay bricks in an upward manner. After the wall was fully constructed, he applied a layer of cement mortar over the entire surface, which not only reinforced the wall, but also significantly enhanced its aesthetic appeal. The young man is not only remarkably handsome, but also operates with great efficiency, swiftly smoothing out all the surfaces of the walls. Subsequently, he transitions to the rear side of the wall, at the location of the opening, the young man proceeds to construct three similar pillars using bricks. Can anyone deduce the purpose of this construction? Subsequently, proceed with the placement of bricks on both downstream sides oriented towards the gap, crafting a triangular configuration. Fill the area with fine-grained sand, followed by applying a layer of cement mortar, smoothing it out to establish a 45-degree inclined plane. Continue the process of laying bricks on this slope, ultimately forming two distinct water flow channels. In a similar manner, ensure that all surfaces are thoroughly coated with a layer of cement mortar. Watch the video for details. I'm uncertain if everyone has observed, but an opening has been left on the right-hand side, and an inclined plane needs to be established there as well. Similarly, I won't explain each piece of equipment and brick from both sides one by one, as I'm sure our smart friends will understand at a glance. To facilitate subsequent operations, a platform can be constructed on top of the wall utilizing reinforcing bar and concrete materials. Now arrives the primary event of the day. We observe Xiaogou carefully cutting out two larger sections of pipe and two circular wooden boards, meticulously drilling holes in the center of the boards and subsequently installing bearings that are capable of rotating freely. Subsequently, take the pre-cut plastic panels and carefully adhere them individually along the precisely marked lines. Carefully shape the turbine blades and following a significant transformation, proceed to install the generators on each respective side. Finally, proceed to the designated location to connect the water flow channels to the power generation apparatus and link the testing circuits. At this juncture, the small-scale hydropower station is nearly finished. On a different note, expressing approval by giving a like is a considerate gesture, but choosing not to do so is absolutely acceptable. It is not a simple task for craftsmen to labor diligently each day, and your support is what inspires us to persist in our creative endeavors. We are immensely thankful. Once the water level elevates, you can open the gates, and the water will cascade down through the two central channels. With the influence of the water flow, the turbine situated inside the equipment commences its rotation, which subsequently propels the generator to function, thereby accomplishing the objective of producing electricity. So, what are your thoughts on the small-scale hydroelectric power station constructed by Xiao Huo? If the full score is 10, how many points would you give his craftsmanship? This concludes this video. See you next time.